எப்பொருள் யார் யார்வாய் கேட்பினும் அப்பொருள் மெய்ப்பொருள் காண்பதறிவு beaches tallest mountains gushing waterfalls green jungles welcoming people heritage identities famous tea and flavorful food make sri lanka an island of paradise Sri Lanka the pearl of the Indian Ocean is located in Indian southwest of the bay of Bengal and southeast of the Arabian Sea Jaffna The north of the Sri Lankan island shrouded by the waters of the wonderful sea greenish paddy lands historical remnants temples and Portuguese fort The University of Jaffna was established in 1974 under the purview of the University Grants Commission like the one and only full-fledged university in the northern province. The University of Jaffna, one of the most prestigious universities in Sri Lanka, has been producing thousands of intellectuals through its excellence in teaching learning and research at present the university consists of 10 faculties which strengthened by 61 academic departments several academic and support units the faculty of management studies and commerce is the fast growing faculty in the University of Jaffna Sri Lanka committed to the expansion of knowledge and preparation of management and commerce professionals through quality teaching learning and research before becoming a faculty the bachelor of commerce degree program was offered from 1977 under the department of economics in the faculty of humanities with the headship of professor nithyanandan later in 1986 it became as department of commerce and management studies in 1994 The Department of Commerce and Management Studies was segregated into two separate departments with the Department of Management Studies and the Department of Commerce. By 1999, the Faculty of Management Studies and Commerce was established and professor m nadraja sundaram was the first dean of the faculty followed by him professor k devaraja and the senior professor t vel nambi served as deans and promoted our faculty to the next level at present professor b nimala dasan the dean of the faculty is committing himself to bring our faculty in the visionary paths with his collaborative endeavors a 
as our only thirst is to attain our university vision. The faculty operates in a visionary way with the endeavors of the faculty towards achieving its vision, that is, to be leading center of excellence in teaching, learning, research, and scholarship in the sphere of management and commerce. With our values such as excellence, integrity, diffusion, equity and equality, care, inclusion, transparency and accountability, and passion. We, the faculty, are proud to announce that it has produced more than 10,000 graduates with the full potential to manage the challenges of the real world with the massive support of academics through their research expertise and variety of pedagogical techniques. At present, the faculty consists of five academic departments, namely Accounting, Commerce, Financial Management, Human Resource Management, and marketing with about 1,800 students and 58 academics. Currently, the faculty offers two undergraduate degree programs. Those are Bachelor of Business Administration Honours in five different specializations and Bachelor of Commerce Honours in the specialization of accounting and finance and business technology management. We also offer external degree programs with Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Business Management, a postgraduate program on Master of Business Administration and Diploma in Microfinance. Presently, the faculty facilitates to offer the Master of Philosophy and Doctor of Philosophy degrees through the Faculty of Graduate Studies. faculty's learning and teaching environment always ensure the student-centered teaching and self-directed learning through modern pedagogy and assessment modes with the support of blended learning facilities. It further fosters the students to discover the knowledge, creativity the collaborative projects and knowledge sharing through close guidance, supportive teaching and collaborative learning activities. I am amazed with intermediate shift of the faculty from blended learning to visual learning during this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it gives a rich experience of online learning. We can access reading materials, videos, tutorials and recorded uh, lectures through the LMS. Mm, online lectures uh, help us to learn from lecturers directly and communicate others. Uh, also, we thank our faculty for conducting semester examination without any delay, which help us to complete our degree on time. The library of the faculty has thousands of materials which support the knowledge gathering of the students and their research ability to encourage blended teaching and learning among the staff and the students. The library is currently working towards building an e-library. The reading room of the faculty also provides a space for the learning activities of the students. The university's main library further facilitates the students to enhance their knowledge in multidiscipline. 
as a resource for modern teaching and learning practices. The faculty has an e-lab equipped with more than 50 computers and internet facilities. At the moment, the faculty has a sufficient number of lecture hall with multimedia facilities. Also, the faculty is in the process of establishing a smart classroom and student complex to facilitate student-centered learning. Our faculty's research culture ensures a sufficient number of research publications from the staff and the students in index journals and conferences to solve contemporary issues. At present, one third of the faculty members are holding PhDs, which help the faculty to attain its research aspirations. Currently, the faculty publish two peer-reviewed scientific biannual journals, namely International Journal of Accounting and Finance and Journal of Business Studies. As a remarkable milestone, the International Journal of Accounting and Finance has been rated as C in the ranking made by the Australian Business Dean's Council. Since 2014, our faculty has been conducting International Conference on Contemporary Management, in which the national and international scholars are joining, networking and sharing their valuable research outcomes. To be an international student in a foreign country, Sri Lanka, and in a new environment, came with mixed feelings and memories. The adventures I have had in Jeffna University are unforgettable. My most memorable experience will forever be the smiles of my classmates as well as their heartwarm, friendly hospitality. I have also had the opportunity to participate in some of the cultural events where I felt a sense of belonging. Above all, having lecturers who cared for my needs was quite uplifting. To cut the long story short, no words can fully explain how appreciative I am to be a part of Jeffna University and its exuberant environment. Thank you. As our faculty always care about students' happiness and well-being, it provides different student support services and amenities like academic mentoring, student counseling, and welfare services. In our faculty, a canteen, an ATM, auditorium, stone benches, in spacious places, and lobby area are facilitated to ensure a warm and friendly academic atmosphere. This MBA program helped me to bridge the gap by acquiring high-value industry skills, building connections, and preparing for real-world challenges. I feel something that contributed the most were my batch professors, lecturers, and the wonderful staff of MBA office of this accredited faculty. I cherish every moment I spent being part of this MBA program and will always be grateful for everything it gave me. It's my great pleasure to be a part of this pride, Faculty of Management Studies and Commerce, the University of Jaffa. To maintain the staff and students' physical and mental fitness, the faculty, with the support of university's physical education unit, encourage the student involvement in sports, meditation, and yoga. Our students involved in sports and physical activities by accessing the university sports complex, large sports ground, gymnasium, indoor stadium and facilities.
Our students also recorded remarkable achievements in fresher sports and interfaculty sports which are organized by the University Physical Education Unit. The harmonious blend of all races and the culture of the faculty ensure and maintain intercultural harmony among the students. The Marcos is the sports and cultural festival of the faculty, students and staff in which students have been organizing the cultural and sports competitions and social activities. The linkage and collaboration of the faculty with our graduates, outside businesses and professional organizations bring two-way benefits. At present, faculty has several linkages with outside businesses through the initiatives of Business Incubation Cell of the faculty, link with graduates through alumni for the development of the faculty and the memorandum of understanding with professional institutions which aims to develop and strengthen the teaching, learning and research across Sri Lanka. Producing human resources with academic strength, ethics, skills, propensities and passion is the process of hard work of all the stakeholders of the academic and the society a whole for reshaping the communal development and the prosperity of higher education sector. Yepporul yar yar vai kutpinum. Apporul meipporul kanbadaribu.